bang bang, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode, episode four of Blast Off with Monty. Welcome so very much to our new studio space. We're really going to be able to do some blasting in some really interesting ways. Now, tonight is a video that I've been waiting a long time to do. It is called Strife versus Spectrum. So, as I'm sure you know, the Adventure for Spectrum is Dart Zone's answer to the ubiquitous Strife, the flywheel action mag fed blaster that everybody knows and loves. I'm just wondering, is it that much better? Uh, performs better, it shoots harder, it's louder, but does all that add up to make a better blaster than the Strife? And for the purpose of the comparison, this has nothing to do with what they come with. We're not talking about stocks, scopes, handles that the Battle Camo Walmart Strife comes with, which you really can't get anymore, so what does it matter? And then what does this come for, also exclusive at Walmart? We're not here to, to talk about that. I really don't care. I'm just going to take two blasters and compare them. First off, definitely looking at the Strife. This is such a great design. It's so smooth. The plastic is just of such a high quality. The paint, although you're only getting the, the Nerf uh, branding over here, the paint on the other side is clean. It's nice. It's good. And this is just such a clean, smooth, nice blaster. And I've always been a big fan. Coming out very recently is a blaster that doesn't feel as good. Uh, it's not as well designed. The, the shape of it, the uh, detailing of it, not very cool. Uh, it takes two more batteries, uh, four double A's for the Strife, and then six double A's for the Spectrum. If I were to just not know anything about blasters, and you were to hand me these two objects, and I would have to tell you which one was of a higher quality, for sure the Strife is like a higher quality, better balanced, nicer looking object regardless of blasters. So as far as like design and quality, for sure the Strife is still the winner. But what do you do with blasters? You shoot them. Uh, so we're going to do a little blast off here. Spectrum versus Strife. I've got two identical six round Nerf magazines. We're going to load them with equally uh, same darts. The first one is going to be these uh, ammo sting, ammo sting. You can get them from Amazon. They are the uh, full vinyl tip, uh, glow in the dark things that maybe they fed, maybe they feed through your flywheel blasters, maybe they don't. So that's something that needs to be answered. Put that in, followed by five regular, old, super great deal. Everybody already knows at this point the Dart Zone, Adventure Force, Waffle Head, Blue on Greens that you get with all of their blasters now. So we've got two identical magazines set up with two identical types of darts. To be fair, uh, these aren't like brand new darts. I have used these before. First up, we will shoot the strife. I'm not sure if we're going to shoot the range. I don't really think it's necessary for this uh, exercise. So here is the strife. Feeds in there just so smooth. My wife likes this blaster because it's quiet. Just a smooth action. They're not coming out very fast. They're hitting exactly where I'm uh, aiming at. And that, uh, that full vinyl jacket, glow in the dark thing shot pretty well. That comes out so easy. If you like to reload, the Strife is so smooth at doing that. Here it is, folks. The Adventure Force Spectrum. It's big, it's ugly. It's not painted. 
but it revs even while there's no magazine in there. All right, feeding the magazine in. It's not exactly a smooth action, it's just kind of a loose action. If you've ever been with, if you've ever been with somebody that your friend was with that same night, that's how that goes in there. Oh, can you hear me now? No, it's no contest when it comes to firing power, accuracy, the, this, is, this is the better blaster. So, of course, you've got a decision to make as a consumer. Part of me wants to say support a company that is giving, in some regards, uh, a superior product in a lesser priced package. At the same time, you actually can't just go on to walmart.com and buy this. So the comparison's a little moot. At this point, you can go on to walmart.com or any other dark com and get the Elite 2.0, what are they calling it, the Phoenix, uh, which is just a cheap imitation and makes it, at this point, maybe not even a great episode or a helpful episode of Blast Off. Perhaps. Perhaps if you click that subscribe or you click that like button, we might get funds together, which would allow for the purpose, uh, the purchase of that. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Uh, allow for the purchase of that Nerf Elite 2.0 Phoenix, which we can just, I guess, do another video to compare two blasters you can actually buy right now. Because you can't buy this. It's just a great blaster. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight for this episode of Blast Off. Thank you, Nate my friend in foam for his beautiful work back there. Hopefully he pushed record at the time that he should and then didn't at a time that he shouldn't. Thank you so much. And until next time, bang, bang, da, 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 da. bang, bang.